Electronics engineers design and develop electronic equipment such as GPS devices. In this video, we're gonna go over what electronic engineers do, the job market for electronic engineers, what kind of money they make, how much they make compared to some of the other engineering fields, and at the end of the video, we will go over the top five metro areas for electronic engineers. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Steven Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on bringing you the latest, most up-to-date information on different careers. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other related information on different careers. And if you enjoy this video, like this video to support this channel. Electronics engineers design electronic components, software, products, and systems for commercial, industrial, medical, military, and scientific applications. They analyze customer needs and determine requirements. Electronic engineers maintain and test electronics continuously. They are also concerned with safety and inspect equipment and instruments to make sure they are safe. Electronic engineers are also really concerned with increasing the performance of their electronic devices. They often work on teams with computer engineers, electrical engineers, and mechanical engineers. Electronic engineers work in a wide variety of industries. 17% work in telecommunications. 16% work with semiconductor and component manufacturing, 13% work for the federal government, and 7% are contractors or consultants. So like I said, electronic engineers work in a wide variety of industries, but the biggest one would be the telecommunications industry. Next, let's take a look at the job market for electronics engineers. And this is something you absolutely want to see if you are considering electronics engineering as an occupation. In the year 1999, there were 106,830 electronics engineer jobs. From the year 1999 to 2003, electronic engineers gained 27,400 90 jobs. And then the job losses started. Notice that electronic engineers lost quite a few jobs after 2003. So what happened in 2003? According to the American Electronics Association, there were lots of layoffs due to outsourcing. Many electrical, electronics, and computer engineering jobs were moved overseas as well as manufacturing. So going back to our chart, there was some job gains from 2003 to 2008. And in 2008, there was another high of 139,930 jobs. But jobs really haven't grown much since then. In 2018, the government recorded 134,110 jobs for electronic engineers in the United States. And this is actually a lower job number than in 2003 and 2008. So there has been quite a bit of job volatility for electronic engineers over the past 10 years. But will this continue? Will jobs start going up again? Next, let's take a look at what the government is forecasting for electronic engineering jobs over the next 10 years. The government is actually estimating a loss of 1% of jobs for electronic engineers from 2018 to 2028. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by 5%. Unfortunately for electronics engineering, this is one of the few occupations that is forecasted to have job losses over the next 10 years. Next, let's take a look at what electronic engineers earn. In 1999, the average electronics engineer was making $63,410. By the year 2018, the average wage had risen to $107,930. So wages rose for electronic engineers by $44,520 over a period of 20 years. So despite the job losses over the past 10 years, electronics and engineers still make pretty good money. But how much money do they make compared to some of the other engineering fields? The Bureau of Labor Statistics splits engineering into 16 different fields. For example, they combine aeronautical and astronautical engineering into aerospace engineering. Electronics engineering is one of the 16 different fields, so let's see how they stack up. With an average wage of about $108,000, electronics engineering is the sixth most lucrative form of engineering out of 16 different fields. It is only beaten out by aerospace, chemical, computer, nuclear, and petroleum engineering. So electronics engineers make pretty good money compared to some of the other engineering fields. Finally, let's explore the best places for electronics engineers. The average wage is $108,000 per year, but some areas of the country actually pay much more than this. This list mainly considers three factors, cost of living, number of jobs, and the average wage. Let's take a look. Number five on this list is the Seattle, Washington metro area. There's over 2,000 jobs, and the local Seattle wage is $125,980. Number four on this list is the Albuquerque, New Mexico metro area. There's only 560 jobs, but Albuquerque is an extremely cheap place to live. The average wage in Albuquerque for electronics engineers is $126,860. Number three on this list is the Austin, Texas metro area. Austin is more expensive than Albuquerque, but 
far less expensive than Seattle. There's about 3,000 jobs for electronics engineers in the Austin, Texas metro area, and the average wage is $127,570. Number two on this list is the San Diego, California metro area. San Diego has a lot of job opportunities for electronics engineers with over 6,000 jobs. It does have a higher cost of living, especially compared to Albuquerque, but the San Diego average wage is $128,140. And in my opinion, the number one best place for electronics engineers is the Tucson, Arizona metro area. There is over 1,000 jobs, and the average wage in Tucson is $139,260. And Tucson, like Albuquerque, is an extremely cheap place to live. Are you interested in becoming an electronics engineer? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.